out of corner he's watering <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be bringing you the newest collection from Nomad Cosmetics and it is their Studio 54 collection. I am so glad to be back and to be showing you guys this collection. So if you're ready and I'm ready, so let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there. And in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett and I'm a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, a plus size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below in my playlist that you could check out. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the fam and hit that notification bell. Therefore, you know when I'm posting, even though I maybe post on Tuesdays and Fridays. And give this video a like while you're at it. I know I have been gone for a little bit, um, <laughs> but um, I did explain it today over on my Instagram that I have had some stuff going on. Um, one week, I just wasn't feeling really motivated not that I didn't have content, I have plenty of items to review, plenty of things to show you. I just was not motivated and it just, it sucks. It happens and it sucks. And um, this week my allergies have been really kicking my butt and especially right now. So if you see my eye makeup breaking up over here in this corner, it's my allergies. <laughs> and also I got a, another one of those infected cellulitis spots on my body. So I've been dealing with that as well. So yeah, it's been fun being me. <laughs> but I did miss you guys. And I am like super, super stoked to be showing you the newest collection from Nomad Cosmetics. It is their Studio 54 collection. We have a four pan multi-chrome palette and then we have two multi-chrome highlighters to show you guys so let's go ahead and get started on these bad boys all right if you want to go straight into the swatches i am going to put a timestamp right here so you can just bypass i'm going to talk about when it comes to these three products and then just go straight to the swatches and the little mini tutorial that I did record on how I made this eye look today. As I stated in the intro, this is the newest collection from Nomad Cosmetics. It is the Studio 54 collection. We have a four pan multi-chrome palette and then we have two multi-chrome highlighters. Um, I am just like super, super stoked over this because I don't have, one, I don't have a palette that's just nothing but multi-chrome shadows and I actually don't have highlighters like this um they actually don't call them highlighters they call them multi-chrome disco lighters which is so cool and this is also the multi-chrome disco shadow palette the inspiration for the studio 54 collection actually came from the tokyo palette and let me tell you why in the tokyo palette you have this whole row down here of multi-chrome um shadows and this one right here otaku i love using this not only on my lids but i like using it as a highlighter as well um and decor is really good for one too as like a highlighter topper um but just this row right here really inspired um the owners of nomad cosmetics to make the palette and the two separate disco lighters they were thinking about doing a 15 pan palette of nothing but um multi-chromes but that would cost a lot of money because it takes a lot of materials and a lot of time to make a multi-chrome palette because it's not like a duochrome you know shade you where you just have like two different you know types of metallics in there this one you have multiple shades to kind of give you that shift of more than just one color so that's where the inspiration for actually making this collection with nomad cosmetics their overall purpose is to show beauty throughout different parts of the world through different eras of time and this one is really um, really cool because it takes you back to New York during the days of disco and Studio 54. I do have the card that they do send out whenever you purchase an order of their products and it does have a little story on it and I'm gonna go ahead and read through that real quick. It says the new Nomad and New York Studio 54 collection. 
the story. On a seedy New York City street 43 years ago in April 1977. Ooh, that was 43 years. Ooh, I'm getting old. <laughs> Studio 54 opened its doors full of flair and flamboyance. Throngs of celebrities and commoners alike lined up for a chance to enter a party unlike anything the world has seen before. Inside, crowds of club goers would gyrate and pulse together to the beats like a single glittering amoeba. This NYC Wonderland was where exclusivity was about inclusivity and no matter who you are or who you loved, once you're inside, you are free to shine. Okay, like I said before, my allergies are getting to me, especially on my right eye. So if my makeup does start to, you know, go away in this outer corner, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and start with the two disco lighters. I have to say this packaging is so, so gorgeous. Not only because you have, you know, the packaging, the outer carton that has the Studio 54 design on it with the pictures and then it says studio 54 on the bottom but once you open it it legit looks like a glittery party this is what the shade hot shot looks like this is the packaging for hot shot it's so pretty and i like how the glitter doesn't come off on your hand there's some products that I do have that have like the glitter finish and the glitter just gets all over my hand and I cannot stand that. This does not have that. So let's go ahead and open her up. Look how pretty she is and look at that shift in it. And it is imprinted with the Studio 54 logo. So pretty. Let's go ahead and give her a swatch. That's what it looks like on my finger. No primer on my hand as always. Oh, just look at how gorgeous that is. You got the pink, the purple, the blue. It has, and it does have like, it looked like a little bit of tint of orange in it as well just to give it this awesome awesome shine and it's not gonna overpower your cheeks and it's not going to leave that you know that streak on your face it's actually going to fan not fan it's actually going to spread out and look nice and sheer and just oh it, it's gonna it looks amazing so pretty please pardon that that's a psoriasis spot yeah. The next disco lighter we have is Disco Nights. The packaging, okay, the packaging is the same as far as the pictures and stuff. But on the bottom, well, it does say Studio 54,000 Disco Nights. It, this has a gorgeous gold glitter in it. You can see the Nomad up here. And it does have um, Studio 54 down here. But you can't really see it as well as you can see it on Hot Shot. And this is what Disco Nights looks like. It is a gorgeous, like, peachy, orange, gold shift uh, highlighter. I can't talk today. I don't know what my issue is. And, of course, you see the Studio 54 pan in print. Let's go ahead and swatch it. So it looks like on my finger it just looks like fire on my finger look at how gorgeous that is that would look absolutely stunning on deep skin tones it really really would and as you can see you can see the gold the yellow the orange it looks like it does have a touch of red in it too but it is just gorgeous i mean those two disco lighters are so pretty so pretty all right i'm going to clean this part up and then we are going to check out the palette all right let's talk about 
the big daddy the disco shadow palette it is a quad palette so there's only four pans in it the pictures on the outer carton are the same as the disco lighters this is the glitter packaging so so pretty and this is what they look like on the inside I mean, you can just, just by my light, you can just see the shift going on. It is so, so pretty. We have Le Freak, I'm Coming Out, Got To Be Real, and Last Dance. As you've noticed, the names of everything are after 70s songs and 70s pop culture with Studio 54 and Disco. So that's what I used um, a combo of got to be real and last dance today I put got to be real all over my lid and last dance like dabbed it in the middle so let's go ahead and swatch them here is La Freak they um they do have La Freak I'm coming out and got to be real have the studio 54 imprint and last dance has the nomad cosmetics logo but this is Le Freak. I mean, you can see it's yellow with pink and purple in it. That is so, so cool. Look at that. That is super pretty. Oh, I love it. All right. Let's go ahead and swatch I'm Coming Out. Okay, you have the pink and the blue again. Oh, so, so pretty. You have pink and blue and purple in there. Now, let me go ahead and show you the difference between Hot Shot and I'm Coming Out. All right, this is I'm Coming Out and Hot Shot is going to be right underneath it. Okay, as you see, they are somewhat similar, but I'm coming out. I don't know if my camera's picking it up. I'm coming out has more of the blue in it than what Hot Shot does. And Hot Shot is more pink based, whereas I'm coming out is more purple based. So I did want to show those two together. All right, next up we have Got to Be Real. Oh, so pretty. It is this taupey grayish with a little bit of mint green in it. So pretty. I absolutely love it. It is all over my lids. And then we have Last Dance. Last Dance. Last Dance. So it looks like on my finger. Oh, so pretty. This one, of course, you see the blue, but it also has like a slight, like a grayish, yellowish type of a shift to it. That's what I meant to say. But it's not yellow as like in bright yellow like La Freak is. It's kind of more of like a pastel yellow. So, I am going to run the footage of how I made this eye look today. I did use a combination of the Tokyo palette and the Berlin Underground palette from Nomad Cosmetics, plus the two shades from the Studio 54 Disco, the Disco Shadow palette, and I will be right back with prices.
Okay, let's go ahead and run down these prices real quick before my eye decides just to boycott off my face. Yeah. <laughs> the palette and the two disco lighters individually are $19 a piece. But if you buy them together as a bundle, it is $52. And that's what I did. I purchased them all as a bundle, which is a deal, a steal of a deal. Let me tell you why. You have this right here, the Supreme Frost from Jeffree Star. This alone is $32. I mean, yeah. And then I think his like one of the newest highlighters he released was what $50 I mean for $2 more you can get a palette and you can get two highlighters I mean and another thing you can use the um shadows in the palette to use as a highlighter topper because I used um got to be real as a highlighter topper on my cheeks today so I mean you have multi-purpose products here three fifty two dollars i mean it's a steal of a deal <laughs> hey guys editing melissa here i wanted to let you guys know that the studio 54 collection is permanent it is not a limited edition collection and i will link in the description box where you can purchase this along with any other nomad cosmetic goodies okay back to the video I absolutely love these. I cannot wait to play with these some more. These are going to be really, really good for the summer because I think summer is just going to be a one big glittery celebration. I think that's what we need, especially with going on right now. So I highly recommend that you guys pick these up. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget, all my social media handles will be down in the description bar. Come on over. We have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you happen to see one with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Also down in the description box, I will post all of the awesome products that I used to make this look today. I love you all so much and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Gotta fix this hair. I don't know what my deal is with talking. I just can't get it together. I can't get it together. <laughs> Who is time to get this eye makeup off? Cause my eye is like. Get it off my eye.